50 years after the Apollo 11 mission to the moon, an illuminating tribute launched in Washington, D.C. A life-sized image of the Saturn V rocket was projected onto the Washington Monument. Oh, wow. The display adorned the monument for several days during the anniversary. Rebecca Berry is joining us now with how the three-man crew of Apollo 11 was chosen. This Saturday the 20th marks the 50th anniversary of the first human to ever set foot on the moon. We're looking back at the Apollo 11 mission and the historic worldwide space race all week. Right now we're focusing on an exciting time for Americans in the great space race, orbiting the moon for the first time and choosing the men for a future mission who would walk on the moon. On Christmas Eve 1968, Apollo 8 becomes the first mission to orbit the moon. It is during this flight that the astronaut head, Deke Slayton, takes the first step to assembling the crew that will land on the moon. At this time, astronaut Neil Armstrong is working in the Mission Control Center in Houston. And at one point, Deke Slayton, head of the astronaut office, says, Neil, I'd like to talk to you for a minute. And they go into a back room. And that's when Slayton tells Neil that, uh, you know, he's going to be the commander of Apollo 11. And that 11 will probably be the landing, first landing attempt. Of course, Apollo 8's the one that's in circumlunar flight at that point, and they're still in Apollo 9 and Apollo 10 that need to be carried out for 11 to actually do it. Along with Armstrong, Slayton selects Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins to form the three-man crew of Apollo 11. In less than a year, they would make history. Armstrong became the first civilian to command a mission when he led the Gemini 8 mission, which featured the first ever docking of two vehicles in space. Apollo 11 made him the first civilian to command two missions. Coming up tomorrow morning, we debunk the myth a few conspiracy theorists insist on that the moon landing was a hoax. Please join us and watch the Apollo Chronicles, our four hour long special starting at 5 p.m. on Sunday. We will tell the story of man's first step on the moon and the more than one billion people watching it all around the world like it's never been told before.